Welcome to match 297, the Red Rooster vs. Diesel. Here we go. So these are uh, it's two of the characters uh, the WWE's past, the Red Rooster and uh, yeah, Diesel. The Red Rooster, I guess it was like late 80s he came in, and uh, Diesel was uh, mid-90s or so, early to mid-90s. It was a, he started Diesel started out as a Shawn Michaels bodyguard, and uh, the Red Rooster was he was Terry Taylor in NWA, and he was he was a good yeah good wrestler, and he came in and became this goofy character in, in WWF, and they had the uh, had the had the uh, red hair thing in the like you see in the on top of his head and stuff, like a rooster. It was just a. I, I loved all the crazy characters that WWF had. WWE, whatever you. What it was WWF at the time. Skinner and and uh, the Missing Link and George the Animal Steel. All these great characters. I I liked the uh, I liked the uh, when they had all that. What they don't have that as uh. As uh like it like it used to be. They had they had, uh, they had um. Yeah, Giant Gonzalez, and like I said, I guess yeah, the Undertaker was one of the probably the, yeah, one of the most successful of the real characters that the the uh, WWF had. But yeah, it's Diesel with a choke slam here, we have Razor Ramon, all the yeah, it's all the crazy characters they had. Um, you can go on and on and listing listing all the all the uh, crazy. Uh, Characters the WWF had in the 80s and 90s, but the you know, Red Rooster was definitely one of them. Let's see, and so I just kind of just threw these two together for for uh, fun. Do Doink the Clown's another one, and uh, I'm trying to think of other ones they had. Yeah, a lot of a lot of different ones, and of course they had tag teams like the the Killer Bees, real gimmicky uh, characters. All right, Diesel whipped to the ropes. Oh, Red Rooster missed, missed the punch. He's not hitting him at all. But yeah, he was yeah it's Terry Taylor. He came in to made him they made him like a a character, the Red Rooster. All right. Let's see if uh, oh, this, is, this is I should have said this is a submission match, so this will end. Uh, and there's no yeah, no exit, so they're gonna they're gonna stay in the ring and just wrestle and uh, get it. The uh, first one to get a submission is gonna win this. All right, Red Rooster getting some punches in and gonna whip him in. Yes, yeah, Red Rooster. I'm trying to think of what what uh, Matt, if he had a, a WrestleMania matches yet, he might have been in the WrestleMania four. Battle Royal. I can't remember. I have to look that up. But he, he was like, yeah, I guess he was like, it was like late '80s. He was came and he was, he wasn't there for long. It wasn't like he was there for ten years. It was a brief run, but kind of like uh, uh, the Texas Tornado came in for like two years. And uh, you know, some uh, some memorable characters to me. They're, 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 they're like Texas Tornado. They came in. They came in for a brief period, but I remember them. And wish they had a longer run. Wish the Ultimate Warrior had a longer run. Actually, he only he was only there for about four. As as big as a star he became, he, he was not there long. Came in eighty seven and left in ninety two. I think it was about yeah about. Four. Yeah, but I guess maybe five years, his main run. He didn't really yeah, wrestle that much uh, after after that initial fight. He, yeah, he all the more had like a five year run and then really didn't wrestle much. That was that was it. It was just he had a brief thing in WCW and he did not do much. Came back to WWF briefly. But was not yeah his his main he got all he made he became a star in his initial like five year run from eighty seven to ninety two. All right. No, nope. Diesel beats the Red Rooster. Let's get the official decision.